I'm Mike. And I'm Henry, and welcome to our Namakwa to Riftersfeld adventure. Where I'm driving my Suzuki Jimny. And I'm driving the Defender 130. We are packed up and ready to go. Mike, ready? Almost ready. Almost ready. And Mr. Pugley is also pretty much ready. Just uh, warming up the vehicle because we have to do a bit of sand driving out of here. Low range, four wheel drive. Tires are still at 1.4 bar, so not too shabby. It's got big treads, so it should be fine. And uh, the river actually rose a bit last night. Yeah, that's probably what inch and a half higher than it was. Yeah, next stop, Kamchap. With the vehicles packed up and ready to go, we hit the first section of four-wheel driving exiting our campsite. Now this is probably one of my favorite camps of the trip. It was 9 a.m. and the temperatures were already climbing. So in the vehicles we go, ready to hit the tracks to get to our new campsite. Amam is a farm situated about 100 kilometers northeast of Springbok. It was a welcoming desert retreat and a popular destination for tourists to explore the arid conditions of the Bushmanan land and come to rest at the beautiful Malkbos camp. Let's see what we can find in the middle of nowhere. Apparently this is the <laughs> convenience store <laughs> Reina was talking about. Unfortunately the camp no longer exists. However, it is still possible to do the four-wheel drive route which consists of massive sand dunes in the area. After driving the trails for a few hours, we eventually arrived at Goodhouse, the little town in the Busmanland. Goodhouse lies in the northwestern corner of the Busmanland region and one of the hottest places in the country. It is named after the Khoi Khoi word Goodhouse, a combination of Gu, which means sheep, and Daus, path. The town developed around an old pond crossing, which is no longer in use. The remains of the old hotel and graveyard, with World War I graves, are still visible. 
The pumping station at Ingris supplies the town of Steinkov, Okip, Springbok and Kleinsia with water. Dates are grown in the nearby Ku River Valley. Well, cool, Eddie, of, uh, uh, um, my life in Africa. After leaving Goodhouse, a few kilometers later, we turned right onto the Kamchap River Trail. It is so moe. Are you having fun, Henry? Loving this. This is what I live for. The Kamchap River Trail mainly consists of a dry riverbed snaking through the arid country down to the river. Although this trail isn't difficult at all, the vehicle does require some ground clearance. Luckily, the Germany and the Land Rover were more than high enough and capable enough to tackle this little route. You probably noticed that we took these tracks very slowly compared to my other videos. This was mainly due to the fact that this was an overlanding trip, not a weekend warrior trip. A breakage here could spell disaster for the rest of the journey. The Jimny was in its natural habitat with its short wheelbase and narrow track, basically taking any line it wanted to do. With Mike behind the wheel, he made it look quite easy. Pugly had it slightly more difficult, especially with the tight turning radius required on these sections. Although this route can be done with four-wheel drive trailers, it's not really recommended as navigation is a bit more difficult. Eventually, things started to get a bit boring for us, so we chose some new lines to take down. And Mike maybe just misjudged himself on this little rock.
Kijk, die kant achter. Middle of this little sandstorm, <laughs> we just bit, barely got into the car fast enough, Whew. and then all this wind is passing through. It's just one of those sudden stuff storms. Lazar, <laughs> is the ground fat enough for your tent? Yes, it seems comfortable. Seems like I'm lying flat. Great. So, uh, we've uh, taken a bath in the river. And uh, the guys found some driftwood here right next to the campsite. And now we've made a little fire. It was chilly when we got off the water. Now it's just like perfect weather. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button to be notified when the next video is released. Feel free to share this to family and friends and don't forget to leave a comment and like. See you guys till next time.